Hi, and welcome down to Devon Koi Pond on another glorious sunny day. Seems to me that uh, on a day I always decide to do a video, sun's always out. How lucky can you get? See, I usually do my videos on a Friday to go out the following Friday. If it's my day off and uh, usually by luck the day seems to be pretty good. Right, what are we up to this week? Well, first off, if you haven't already, please smash a thumbs up. Like and subscribe if you're not. If you subscribe in, you uh, won't miss anything that's uh, happening down here. Um, I'm hoping that uh, we ain't gonna have anything too dramatic happening, but uh, we uh, like to keep the fish happy, and like to keep the pond happy. But uh, if you subscribe in, you won't miss anything. Right, what are we going up to this week? Well, start with, I'm gonna boil me balls in a bit. Yeah, boil me balls. The blue balls that I put in last week, filter's been running fine this week, which is lucky because uh, my back's been really playing up this week, been really struggling, loads of painkillers. Um, I haven't been able to do much. Filters haven't been cleaned all week. Normally I'll come down sort of, uh, it's midweek when the um, Vortex, I'll drop that one maybe twice a week just to get rid of the crud that's in it. But it's actually been sat since I filmed the last video, it was the last time it was cleaned out. So it's been seven days. It's absolutely rank in there. But uh, I've done a water test this morning, the water's still fine, which is good. The feed amount's slowly coming up. I'll take you and show you the pond temp in a minute. That's uh, about 15.3 showing there, which is good. I've got my food amount on the fish now, up to about 250 to 300 grams a day. They're uh, yomping it down and the filters are managing it. So those filter balls, damn, do you need them? Bio booster balls? Well, don't look like I've needed them this year. It's built up just as quick as I was expecting it to. But I'll be up in the food amount. But I'll take you over, show you how dirty the filters are, and uh, then set the uh, camera up so I can drop it all, vortex down, give the uh, balls a boil in the upflow, and uh, hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I think I might be removing me balls. Oh, God. Right, let's pop over and have a look a minute. Okay, as I'm saying here, the uh, filter is absolutely ranked down there. Um, water's got a slight tinge to it as well, so I believe um, I need to knock the UV on. Hasn't been on for ooh, days and days and days. Right. Lily leaves really, really popping out here. Those uh, flower buds uh, still haven't opened, but uh, lilies are right up. Okay, let's have a look at the mank in here then. So, ugh. yeah, this is really skanky in here. I don't normally let it get like this. This one I'll drop twice a week. Um, I don't need to fully drop it, like it's kind of midweek. I'll just pull the purge, give it a stir around in there, pull the purge valve on the bottom, and uh, everything goes out the bottom, and uh, that's usually enough, so it gets like a half empty. I suppose by the time it sucks and clears, but this hasn't been done since last time. So I'll set the camera up here a minute, drop this one down, and uh, let's see if I can boil me balls. Right, back with you in a minute. Okay, so for this little effort, I'll just uh, shut off the slide valve over here, and uh, this will uh, drop down. I uh, let it go down a fair bit uh, before I uh, turn the pump off. Let it drop down and nearly the filter. Just open the top and on that one. I'll turn the pump off now. Now the pump's off, I can just open my gate valve down here. And ugh, look at it. This is the stuff you don't want to keep in your pond. Right. 
I might speed this up a bit as it's draining down, but I'll start the uh, pump with it sucking it out. And I'll uh, also put the uh, barrel on to, bore, um, to boil, and uh, then I'll open the uh, top because the water level in it should be down enough now. So, we're in here, I can hear it, hopefully you can hear it as well. We're popping in there. I'll uh, fill the uh, vortex back up in a minute after it's cleaned and get the water level a bit higher in it. And uh, we'll have a look at that then. This one's almost done. <coughs> you wouldn't believe the amount of crap that this has caught in a week. But then again, if I've been putting in uh, sort of uh, 300 grams nearly of food around that each day it's not surprising what goes in has got to come out so uh, just have a quick blow around with the old pipe a minute swill it all down When it's reasonably clean like that, I'll uh, give the bottom drain a purge. Get rid of that as well.
Okay. Okay, so there we are. All cleaned out. Now I'll uh, fill it back up and uh, let me balls uh, rise a bit in the uh, tank there. to get some water level back into me uh, also you can see how uh, I get an airlock in there I also get a airlock in the pipe here feed pipe and so I've got uh, this little gizmo the balls are coming up there I'll stop them before they hit the top which is an easy do close that valve off. You can see the extra dirt that's been brought through now just with uh, doing that bottom drain twice purging it but uh, this isn't going to hurt. This will uh, work its way uh, against the screen and then down into the bottom so let's have a look in the pit in the uh, upflow a minute. Well, there we are. Clear spot in the middle here, ain't easy. Yeah, you can see she's boiling in there. And uh, I suspected the odd bits of media have worked their way up, but I'm not going to worry about that. So I'll leave this one boiling for a few minutes. This higher level as well. Is, uh, this one, uh, I normally I hope it'll be able to go like a fortnight uh, before I clean it. We'll see. So, uh, let me drain it down here, give it a few minutes to boil in, and I'll uh, drain it down and then get back to you. Right. I'm hoping you can uh, see these lines here. See the line of the blue balls at the top, the media, and the water now as it's getting down the bottom, look. That whirs the pump kind of running dry as it's sucking the water, dirty water out the bottom. It's a bit of a racket, but that's what it's like when it's pulling that out of the sump barrel. It's uh, right here. I don't know if you can see down into the bottom of that one. But the water is running from the upflow into it. It's nearly down there at the bottom, but scavenging a bit for it now. And it'll uh, scavenge a lot when it gets down the bottom. But, uh, you can see the amount of media I've got there. It's solid all the way to the bottom there now. Look. Balls are about three, four inches short of the top. So uh, just leave it sucking for a minute. Let it get rid of the last of this uh, water in the bottom. I never get it all, but uh, enough on this. grinding noise of a pump pulling air. And that's about as much as it's going to go down. So I'll pop the camera here, go over and turn the pump off, then let the water back in. Gate valve from the upflow, and uh, now let me fill up the water. I'll put the cap back on just in case my balls go flying, but uh, you should be able to see them uh, rise back up to the occasion, and it should come up and wham them against the top.
that bubbling you see a air bleeder here letting the air into the top of the three inch pipe where I get an air lock as soon as all the air is out of there the water will fly in there bubble, 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 bubble. Balls rising yet? She goes. Set and ready to start running again. Show you in the top here. You can see the blue balls have come up there now. So uh, here we go. Here's the balls right at the top. You can see the water level there. That I'll uh, start drawing it out in a minute with the pump, and then it'll probably drop about an inch. But that's to be expected. So I'm calling these blue balls a big success. Okay, so here we are, all back up and running. I haven't cleaned the uh, easy pods in the last week either. They'll uh, probably go another week. I say I'm hoping for a fortnight on between cleans and knees. As per usual, which really annoys me, I get kind of one bit or maybe two bits of micro K1 seem to escape somewhere down the bottom on this one. Whiz round, but there you go. Right, if only we could cure the rising media on these with some balls that you can still get in easily enough. Well anyway, there we go. That's that. All back up. Right. So we can see here, I'll do the top up with the water, I'm just spraying it in. I do need to replace my dechlorinator cartridge filters on the bottom one. So those of you in the know, I've got two sets on the hose line here. One set up close to the tap and one set down in the filter bay here. Um, and uh, this is roughly how much my water levels dropped. Look, I lost uh, about an inch and a half, near an inch and a half to two inches of water off the pond. Doing just that clean on the vortex and the upflow so that's uh, my weekly water changes are kind of that and uh, dropping the two easy pods as well which uh, when they need doing which is like I'm going to open for it once a fortnight once a month through the winter so that's the only water that gets changed here we got no trickle in or trickle out as I said Tom temps today oh we're at 15.6 
and the food rates are going up. Right, let's get you onto the step a minute. But on our way over there, I'll take you into the workshop and show you a little bit of laser cutting that I'm doing. A new plaque I've designed and uh, going to be making um, that'll be made and selling. I'll take you over to that. So, see you in the workshop. Okay, here we are in the uh, workshop above the laser. Excuse the noise because it's uh, got its extraction on. But uh, I'm about to cut a new style of black. Um, these should be for sale by the time this uh, video goes out. I'll put uh, up in a thing if they are. But uh, here we go then. So, and she's off. I'll uh, speed up uh, this cutting. This uh, could take a minute or two. It's probably uh, ten minutes. Two plaques on the table. It'll probably take ten minutes to cut each one, so probably twenty minutes of cutting. But I'll, I'll speed it all up into a minute or two. But we have to cut uh, two colours for this. We're cutting black, red. Um, two identical cuts for which the bits will then be swapped over. Plus, I've also got to cut uh, the fish again as well in white. So that should all be very interesting. I'll leave you to it and speed it up a minute. And here she comes up to the finish of the cut. Now this has taken 21 minutes. So I'll jump forwards, cut the red bit, and uh, then we'll see what the uh, total cut time was. It's going to cut the second one now, uh, but I'll knock the camera off and you'll come back uh, when I'm on the red. Okay, we're on the red. Might be a little bit easier to see. Just check the framing of it, make sure it all fits on the sheet. And away we go. And here it is about to finish. This is the last of the cuts for this white. So there is a be three colour. I might add some different colours in, but we'll do three colour for now. And I'll get in and I'll show you a quick bit of sticking together. But, uh, then uh, you'll find them on eBay. Here's it, cutting out a white fish. Got four white fish to cut out, and I'll be using bits from these to uh, make up the four colours. You'll see when I've got it laid out on the table in a minute. So there you go. That's that. Three fishes. I think I fucked the first one up, but uh, we'll do another one. I'll catch you in on the table, sticking them together. Okay. Right. Here we are in the assembly uh, area. Um, this is a red one and um, they go together from the back so they're all stuck together like a big jigsaw puzzle here's all the bits in the colors they're all stuck together then onto a backing on that there's a red one there's a black one they'll all be slightly different they're about 25 centimeters square and you'll find these on eBay Hopefully for around the uh, $23.99, which I consider dirt cheap because we've got uh, like two hours of cutting time here on the laser and oh, another hour and a half, two hours of assembly time. So it's about four hours of work here to uh, get these four plus the materials. So there you go. Find them on eBay if you want them. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that little bit on the laser cutter. That's a new plaque design that I've got. It's uh, for sale on eBay with the rest of the stuff and it's surprisingly cheap. All right, really for the amount of 
work and time that goes into each one I don't make a lot on them I can tell you that but they're for sale all right if you fancy one pop over have a look links down below also links for the easy pod caps and the other koi plaque stuff dust tube odors down in the description underneath all right if you've enjoyed this week's video enjoyed watching me balls boiling there you go I said it balls boiling Whack us a thumbs up if you're not already. Please like and subscribe. Next week we'll uh, pop in and have a look at the uh, solar, which uh, hadn't been doing too well the last few weeks actually, because uh, the weather hadn't been that bloody good. But it's working. But it's all finished. That wired up, looking neat now. So I'll show you that. I've got a 12 month roundup on what the first set of panels did in the last 12 months exactly which was up to the 24th of last month full 12 months so much money i made and so on we'll go into that but i'll be in next week's video so from down here in sunny devon it's gone in yeah i know i'll catch you all next week bye bye